for you today. And that's just one thing that I want to say. Thank you. Thank you. Are you grateful in the house today? Thank you. Hey. For all you've done in my life. For all the blessings I cannot see. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to. Thank you. With a grateful wish. Turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. Out of the ashes we rise. No, 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 no. There is no one like you. Mountain, you know, go climb up, coming after me. 
there's no wall, you know, go kick down. Lie, you know, go tear it out. Coming after me, there's no shadow, no shadow. There's no shadow.
all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name, let it fade. Let all the other names fade away. The name that is not of you, let it fade, let it fade. Let all the other names fade away. The name that challenges your God. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Say it until your spirit catches up. Say it. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Hey, Kararabash. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. In my life, take your place. In my health, take your place. Every name that is not of you disappears. Your authority is lifted high. Your power is glorified. There is nobody, nobody but you. There is nobody, nobody but you. You are lifted high, lifted high. You are lifted high, lifted high. Continue saying it, mean it, mean it. Jesus, Jesus, take your place. 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 the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory forever amen oh yours is the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory
in the name we boast in the power of God so his kingdom can never end his kingdom reigns till eternity he can never be dethroned he can never be set aside he's forever higher he's forever greater is forever beautiful is forever powerful there is no name no name no name higher than the Lord is the power yours is the glory for him now you know this one Yeshua Yeshua ah. is he your father ah. call him Yeshua
is Yeshua, is Yeshua. wonderful name we have worshipped. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. Are you happy you are here this morning? We are happy that we are enjoying the glory of the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have about 10 testifiers this morning and I'll call them quickly. Let's appreciate the Lord. Let's appreciate the Lord. The first person I'll be calling today is Dr. Emmanuel. Dr. Emmanuel, where are you, Dr. Emmanuel? Encourage him while he runs forward. Dr. Emmanuel, oh, praise the Lord. Why, Sister Joy Eze, please be on standby. Dr. Emmanuel, praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Good morning, pastors. Good morning. I'm here to testify the glory of God. Last week, Thursday, I did my doctoral induction. Praise the Lord. And the glory of God from the altar of God in Fountain, Life, Fountain of Life Church followed me there. Amen. In fact, the king was among us to do the induction. When they read the profile of every one of us, I was the only one that two journalists came to. One from Ivory Coast, one from Abuja. And they interviewed me, and they took permission that they wanted to write, they wanted to publicize my story. Another one is, uh, senior pastor talk about a estate, about my radio and TV station, to the glory of God, the Lord has provided for the land. Amen! Praise the Lord! Till Sunday, till last Sunday, I still have my, uh, people still give me materials. All those that have promised have fulfilled their promises. Amen. And I thank God the debt that wanted to send me to un untimely grave has been paid. God has settled it. Amen. One of my aunties many years ago told me I needed to be initiated to Ifa Oraku. Mm. But if you do not do it, you cannot prosper. Mm -hmm. My father had six male children. I was the only one that survived. And he said, you must not die like this. If you die poor, your father is have nothing to show off. And I said, Ma, I will not do it. I even rather to die poor. poor. To God be the glory today. I look at side, left in my family, mother's side, father's side. I am the first doctor. Amen. To God be the glory. <laughs> The Lord of Mountain has given me a wonderful job. Amen. Senior pastor has fulfilled his promise about giving me a job. I have a wonderful job. Amen. To God be that glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God for Dr. Emmanuel. Our God is a good God. Sister Jo Eze, can you please come forward, please? Encourage her while she comes forward. Just encourage her. She has a wonderful testimony to the glory of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Mom. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning. My name is Joy. Is it? Yeah. I'm here to return all glory to God. But first of all, I want to take a song. Mm -mm. Just go straight to it. We have 10 people. Okay. God bless you. I just want to thank God Jesus for name. his mercy. So many of you might have come across my story on social media, 2020. I was a lady that was shot. 
by a fiancé. This was what led to the NSAS. I was shot by my fiancé, like I said, um, we were supposed to get married December 2020. All of a sudden, the call of the wedding, there was no issue, there was no fight, and I left. Only after three to four days, he called back and said he wants to see me for us to talk. I went to an open place like an eatery, and he said the reason why he's calling me is to tell me that I should stop telling people that he was the one that called off the wedding. I said, what do you want me to tell them if they ask? He said, anything. I said, okay, tell my dad, tell my family member, cook up a story, tell them something else, tell them I committed something. He said, no. So I, just took, I said, then we don't have any discussion here anymore. I stood up like three steps ahead of him. I had when the cock gone. AK-47 to be precise. The cock the gun. So I was conscious. I was like, what's, what's the issue behind this? So I turned. The moment I turned, that was how the bullets entered here and it came out here. Yes. This is a miracle. I was on that spot for more than one hour, still looking for who was going to help when I regained my consciousness. My jaw fell off. Everything I've seen there is a transplant. My jaw fell off. Everywhere was open. And when I got to the hospital, they could ask, like, okay, did you know who did this to you? I nod my head because I couldn't talk. My tongue, everything was out. Everything was out. So I held my jaw. I was nodding my head. I was able to open my phone and I showed them. They said, yeah, that was the police officer that they saw that shot me. And I typed, I said, this is my fiance. I'm returning all glory to God that I did not die. Yeah. The reason why I did not die, I did not have money to give to God, but I rendered my service in the house of God every time diligently. I ministered through song. I thought I've lost everything. Why I'm standing here so happy because I can sing again. Despite there is no truth, despite the tongue has been divided into two. I can talk. I can hear myself. I didn't lose my mind. Yeah. I didn't lose my mind. I have my mind with me. Ever since then, I've been going through surgeries, series of surgeries, and when the doctors, they see me, they say, wow, you are a miracle. Do what you know how to do the best. What do you do in your closet? I say, I just sing. I love to sing. And to the glory of God, I'm going to be releasing my album on the sixth. Yeah. Title says, The Air I Breathe. Because it's the air that I breathe. Thank I cannot Jesus. breathe with, with all this. People wonder, how do you talk when you have no truth? How do you talk when your talk is divided into two? Pastor God, I thank, thank you. you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and there's a soldier you. coming up. I just want to see this opportunity. I send you your prayers. I have a soldier that's coming up because I'm due for the major soldier. They said they want to fill in the, the face, the this, the that. I'm believing God for a miracle. I'm believing God for a miracle. Thank you so much, man. Oh, Eru Olorun ba mi o Ay 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 Ko se to Ala ba 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 Ah Ko se ya to Praise the Lord God should be feared Oh God should be feared We thank God for that testimony He thought he can kill her I am a sick. But when God says it's not your time, it is not your time. That surgery, she said on social media, many people contributed for her. She was able to do that which they just did now. And I know it's going to be perfected in the name of Jesus. Our God is a good God. Ah, God, you are so good. 
Thank you. Just let's encourage her. Let's encourage her. Oh, Rama Sende de Gaston Bobushinde. Sister Chidioke, can you please come forward quickly? Sister Mary Are, please come forward too. Sister Chidioke, quickly, two minutes. Sister Mary, be on standby quickly. Good morning, church. Good, Good morning, morning, pastors. Two minutes. I am here again to testify the goodness of God because the devil came to steal and Jesus gave life abundantly. Amen. Last week, I want to give this two testimony, but I give one in the main one. So this one is last year I lost my job and this year I started a small business after they offered me a fridge to start business. So I asked my HOD in my department, sir, where will I start? He said, I should start from the yard I'm living. I'm be marketing my drinks and pure waters. So I started telling the building people, and I met one woman opposite my building. She's selling food, and there are two women. So I asked, I go and meet the woman, I ask her, Ma, should I stay with you? When you sell the food, I will also sell the drink. And the pure water. I said, no problem. She likes somebody that is strong. So I made the other woman there accept me. So in the morning, before that woman come out, I would be my cooler. I go there. I started selling. When she's selling the food, I selling my drink and my pure water. So when the woman closed, I will close. In the afternoon, I will come for the next person. Not to know that people in the streets that have shop, they are not happy for what I'm doing. So one of them now go and meet the woman in the morning, ask her, why did she allow me to be staying with her that I'm collecting her customer? The woman now told her that, which kind of talk is that? That many are selling food, many are selling many things, and they are much. It depends who God chooses as your customer. The, the other one again, that have shop, go and meet in the afternoon on, and now told her, why did she allow the woman? So the, the other one I told her the same thing. And when they come to me, they tell me, you see what people are saying. I say, ah, so these people, they are not happy for me that I'm bringing my cooler from upstairs to downstairs to Hosu for myself. He said, I should not mind them. I should keep on praying. In the night of that day, in my dream, I saw a hand that pulled me something like chemical in my leg. So I feel the hot. That thing is black. I feel the hot. I shouted Jesus in that dream. I wake up. I look the time. That is 1 p.m. I look my children, they are sleeping. Nobody around me is only my, my, my children. I look the outside, that is still dark. I, I, stre I managed to stretch my hand. I found out that that leg, I cannot step it down. The leg is like egg. So I'm, I, I started walking to raise hand when I put olive oil and declare a word there and pray. So the, when did they break? I thought that is a joke. I can't wash the leg for granted. So my student was asking me, Mommy, what happened? I said, I don't know. See what happened. My small baby hold me, pray. At the end of it, I told them I will go and say this morning. They should help me and carry the cooler downstairs. So when they helped me, I managed to sell that morning. I could not meet up in the afternoon because it depends much, much for my leg. So the woman asked me, I explained for her. When I come upstairs, I, I, can't, I can't understand myself that I cannot step one of the legs just two, two days they attack me. So I started praying. In the night, I now wake up. I look time, two o'clock. I said, is he not a child of God? Me. A, a, a child of fancy. I started praying. I said, God, do not allow my enemy to take your glory that I, I she is okay, supposed to give you. I continue praying. I pray like never before. I cried to God. In that night, I slept up after praying. And I saw Pastor Taiwo in my dream. I look at his face. Where he is, everywhere was light, like bulb. I can't look at his face well. He looked me and smiled. The next, he called me by my name with double voice. He said, she's okay. It is done. He hold my leg in that particular place. I press it like this. And I wake up. I say, God, what is happening? Yesterday, attack. Today, I saw Pastor Taiwo. Pastor Taiwo is dead. Why will I see him in my dream? So the next, I called my child. I said, let me manage to uh, stand up, whether I can uh, observe that. I stand up. I started feeling that cold. I called my daughter. I said, Mama, shake time. 
I wake them because that was around 2 o'clock. I wake my sister Pekin that is staying with me. I say, look everywhere. He said, mom, everywhere is dark and that is 2 o'clock. So I, I managed to stand up. I'm shaking. I couldn't find any pen. What I'm finding there is cold. Amen. So in the morning, I find out that my leg is free. Amen. So I come to return the glory to Amen. God. That God will find me. I'll be there for me, even though when the time of pens on everything, Amen. He never disappoints me. I never give enemy chance Amen. over me. I give Amen. glory to Lord. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Sister Mary, come forward quickly. Then, Brother Femi, Olaide, Day, be on standby, Sister Tin Loluwa. Hallelujah. Good morning, pastors. Good morning, church. Today is my 26th year's wedding anniversary. Praise the Lord. I have come to return the glory to God because it can only be Him. I remember in 1998 when we got married, myself and my husband, we planned to have ja uh, Sapphire. Jasper and Topaz, two children. But they didn't come. We waited for eight years. Sapphire came. But we have not seen Jasper. Mm -hmm. We have not seen Topaz. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why? Then I remember, his ways are not, not our ways. ways. His thoughts are not our, our thoughts. thoughts. Just as the heaven is higher than the earth, so his ways are higher than us. All through this period of waiting, because I am married to a son of God. Because I am married to a man who fears God. He never gave me trouble. I had peace all through these eight years that I waited. And you know what? When God wants to give you gifts after waiting, he gives you the best. Oh, yes. I have, we have a princess. We have a daughter of Zion. We have a trailblazer. We have a good girl. She will be 18 this year. I look and I think, where is this peace coming from? Where is this beauty coming from? Where is this peace coming from? I realize that there's a God who rules in our place. I've come to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what I did to deserve the man God gave to me. I don't know what I did to deserve the daughter God gave to me. And I know nations will hear of my daughter. Amen. And I know nations will stand up for her. Amen. And so, God, I am grateful. Amen. I'm here publicly Sweet. telling people that you are good. Amen. I judge you faithful. Amen. For the years ahead, thank you because you've gone ahead. Amen. Peace all the way. Amen. Love all the way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Femi, two minutes, please. Sister Tin Lolua, come forward. Brother Lawale Olumide, come forward quickly. Good morning, Pastor. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Josh. I'm Femi Olaide. I want to testify on accommodation breakthrough. I have tried from my landlord for long to the level that he served me with notice from court, which last 31st of March. And I try to get uh, maybe 550,000 to get one room and uh, self contained So by getting the money and pay to the agents to pay to the landlord, I was calm. So my wife cried, 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 cried. Later she fell sick. Well, thank God. At the end of the day, we later engage ourselves in prayer and fasting, maybe two days or three days, if I can remember. And after the two days or three days, she called me. She said, FM, I said, yes. I said, please, can we do something? I said, what? He said, let's see Pastor A. I don't want to measure the pastor name. I believe, I believe the pastor, she's looking at me right now. I said, for what? She said, if she agree with us in prayer, I believe something will happen. I said, okay, let's try. On Faithful Sunday, on Easter Sunday, we are here. After the service, I said, okay, let's go and see the pastor that he said we should see. When we see the pastor, the pastor engaged us in prayer. He prayed for us. He said, God, we do something concerning it. We go home. 
we pray. Coming back to Easter production, I sat down there. My phone rang. I said, I don't know the person that is calling me. It doesn't have name. I don't want to pick. He said, pick. I stand up. Went out. Go and pick. It's one of my old boss. He called me. He said, Femi, how are you? I said, I'm doing good. He said, okay. What happened is I want to move to my site on Friday. I mean this week. He said, I should make sure I... Make sure you see me on Monday so that we can discuss about it, how it will go. I said, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I come back. I sat down. I talked to my wife that this is what happened. This is what happened. I said, okay. We went there together on Monday. When we get there, the old boss just take me to the landlord. That he doesn't even talk to me. He didn't ask me anything. Just say, okay, you are, you are around. Yeah, let's go to the landlord. I said, ah. I said, what happened, sir? I said, let's talk. He said, don't worry. Let me just go and introduce you that you are the one that is going to move in. I said, ah. <laughs> I said, thank you, Lord. I said, sir, okay, no problem. With faith, I follow him. We meet, see the landlord. The landlord asks us to sir. It's, we sit and we discuss. The man said, what happened? Actually, I do collect one and a years, something like that. And I narrate my story to him, that landlord, see what happened to me. Now I'm in zero accounts. I don't have anything now. Even this Friday that this, my boss is moving. I don't know, maybe he's going to pay for me or in the presence of the landlord. That's what I'm saying. The landlord said, okay, what happened is that go and get me six months. Let the agreement and commission be go. Just pay six months. At least you can arrange six months before I say, okay, sir, I'll be back before weekend. Why my boss is leaving tomorrow, they are expecting me. But I believe that God has started it with perfect it. With zero account. But it's my surprise, the greatest surprise in this case is that that my boss, I didn't discuss anything. I didn't even call him concerning accommodation or stuff like that. I don't know, but I just want to thank God for Amen. because he has started and I believe that Amen. he's going to finish it in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. God that began it will finish it in the mighty name of Jesus. He was camped for one room apartment of 500K. Now he has two rooms, but no money to pay. God will provide it. And even the amount of money is not even up to 500. God will provide it. He has opened the door, and the door cannot shut against you. Praise the Lord. Sister Tinyi Loluwa, come forward. Brother Lawale Olumide be next. And Brother Oluwa Gbemiga, please come out, please. Um, praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Um, I really just want to thank God for his intimacy I have with him. Um, I remember that the promise for last Sunday in December last year was 1 Kings 5-4. And when I was going into 2024, I really just said, God is me and you this year. And I'm just really grateful that, you know, before I even have a need, he already knows what I need. And despite the fact that I didn't have a job, you know, it just always makes way for me. And Amen. I'm just grateful for his love. Amen. And I'm just grateful for how every day I wake up, he assures me that hey, I love you so much. And I'm just really grateful. And when I um, resigned from my job in December, I didn't even have, like, any job in place. But I just trusted God, even though I was so scared. But God still assured me that, don't worry, I want you to enjoy my peace first. I just want to thank God that, you know, I even had, like, two offers, and I had to start telling Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Amen. which one will I even pick? Amen. So I'm just really grateful that God sees me, God knows my name, and Amen. before I even have a need, he already knows that this girl needs this thing, and he always make a way for me. So I just want to thank God. Pray. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Thank you, Jesus. One minute, please. Praise the Lord, church. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Pastor J, Pastor Tolu, and Honorable Fontenia. Mm -hmm. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord in my life. Uh, the Bible said we overcame by the blood of uh, by the blood. We overcame the dragon by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and the by the word of our testimony. Indeed, a judge is 
on Sunday, I came to Easter production after the Sunday service. So I came to Easter production after the ending of the Easter production. So I was not going back home. So I met a sister. I don't want to mention her name. So we started this thing. So she was not telling me that, ah, and I will give testimony. I will share testimony on Thursday. I said, ah, testimony is not by cracking brain. It's by God. She said, ah, you will give. I said, no problem. It does what you want. I will give. But I was not, I was thinking I will give testimony. So when I, when I got to Osha, I pray over it. So on Monday, I have to come back to Oshodi because I stay in Korodu. So I have to come and sell some of my goods I bought for the Galilee people. You know, we celebrate Jesus Christ on Monday. So the restoration. So when I was going back home on Monday, so I got a motor accident. So the vehicle I enter, we're about to get to Anthony. So the driver just discovered that the, um, the vehicle was doing overheating. So we have to come down. So where I was now standing beside the pillar, so the vehicle was just coming suddenly. So and the door was open, the door, conductor side was open. So the door have to hook my head to uh, that pillar. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? I don't know what to say. I just know, I said, Allah shanu for me. Immediately I said, Allah shanu for me. God have mercy on me. I just pushed that door and the door was open. The, and the door free. So the vehicle was just going. I was like, you know, Shele, Wolo. So when I, on the second day, I came back to Osho, people was now asking me, Kilo She, Milo, Munia, Ede, Dupati, Miku. It's more to us then. So the next person I was not telling, she said, Oja, Lord, Bog, where the time? More to us then, more to us then. And that was, it was always happens to me. More to us then, more to us then. Umania, Oja, Lord, Bog, more as often as I can say, Muni, God has paid everything for me. I said it is finished Amen. on the cross of Calvary. So me Nico Collat if you book. The next thing she said, Mama so be Pastor Gon Bogu. It is finished, Le Mimo. Amen. So I only come here to oh, give you, because this star said I will give testimony. Amen. I never knew this kind of testimony I will give, but Amen. I the, the prophecies came to pass in my life. Amen. But I came to give testimony. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. You will not die. You will live to declare the glory of God in Jesus' name. Brother Lupe Mika, quickly, please, two minutes. Good morning, church. Good morning, pastors. My name is Ulu Agbe Mika, very similar. I have had this testimony. It's a series of testimonies that I had taken for granted for a very long time. And in the year 1987, I had a, a very ghastly accident. A very car, uh, it was a car accident. I was going to school. Someone normally walks me to school. She lives with us in the house. It was a machine back then. So this morning, she was taking me to school, and then she saw this rice, a layway, that they sell across the road. She didn't walk me through the, the entire road, and a vehicle hit me. Uh, to the glory of God, they sold my jaw up, and I was in the hospital for a couple of days, and I was packed dead. So... I, was, I wasn't alive, so all I could see was just like I was walking a long path that just had a white mist, very high walls left and right, and there was just a light at the end, very far end. I was just walking, and then all of a sudden, I tried to look back to see if I could go back, and this was just mist. There was no walk path again. There was nowhere to go. I couldn't touch the walls left and right. They were just full, filled with mist. So... Trying to look forward, I just saw a hand that, like, you can go back. And then I, I looked back. I woke up in the hospital. I was already packed white clothing on my, on my body. And the nurse was rolling me out. There was a, a vehicle out there just to pack me out. People were crying. And I just removed the clothes. And the nurse, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Oh. Nobody waited. So... My, my mother ran, they, they helped me up. For a couple of years, I couldn't eat. But thereafter, till, today, till very recent, I've had seven car accidents. Seven. There was a particular one. My mother used to work in Ikeja General Hospital, last week. The very last one. They brought me, I was just lifeless, medical emergency. 
I was also going to Felad Rotoy's program then. And then I had this accident and I was on the floor. And they, they just shot Mama very And she fainted. Like again, you? To the glory of God, I left the hospital that day. Until very recent, I met somebody, and the person was describing me to another person that, eh, hey, Mogbengani, very similar. Blah, blah, blah. The person didn't recognize me. Until they told the person that, Benga Toti Kuri. Like, Benga has died before. That was when it struck me that. So, my life has been a series of deaths. And I have come today because I've never given that testimony. But I've come today to say, Father, I thank, thank you. Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Pastor. Jesus. Benga, you will not die before your time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is a good God. Uh, Tosin Sholabi, quickly, please. And Papa Onogu, the last one. Quickly, one minute. One minute, one minute. Okay. Good morning, church. Good morning, good pastors. Morning. Um, I just have come to give God all the glory. Um, Monday last week, I was in an accident. Uh, so I was coming back and I was inside the KK, then I fell off. Uh, my phone fell first, then in a bit to catch it, I also fell off. I was conscious and I was making sure that I guided to make sure that it wasn't serious. But I had bruises on my arm, I had bruises on my leg, but I went to the clinic, got drugs and all of that. But I just want to thank God that I'm standing here. Amen. I'm alive, I'm well. Amen. The injuries are healing pretty well, and I thank God that it's just, they're just scars, and I thank God for life. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. All these accidents. Hmm. We are warning you, you are dead in Jesus' name. Accidents, you are dead in Jesus' name. Papa, please come forward. One minute. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Peter J. Onogu, member of Era Pansera. I have a daughter who's a member of choir here. Amen. She was blessed. Her wedding was blessed on the 27th of um, May, 2023. Amen. And by the special grace of God, she put to bed on the 23rd of Amen. Uh, March, March Amen. 2023. I thank God for counting me worthy to receive that uncommon message from Amen. him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's thank God for all the testimonies. Our God is a good God. He has never failed us. He's always there. Even when we don't see him, he sees us. He protects us from every danger. Let's appreciate almighty God that we have a God, a God that is always there for us. When we call on him, he answers us and he does mighty things in our midst. Thank you, almighty Father. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Please let's pack our offering, our let's give to God cheerfully, knowing that he has blessed us. We are ready to just sow a seed to say, Lord, we thank you. What we have might not be enough to say thank you for all that he's been doing in our lives. But we just want to tell the Lord God Almighty that we appreciate him. We love him. We thank even for the ones he has not done. We say thank you. Oh, Father, Lord God, we appreciate you. Thank you for... Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for we give this offering cheerfully in the mighty name of Jesus. And we decree and declare that, Lord, it is well with all of us in Jesus' name. Lord, none of us will die before our time in Jesus' name. We will do your work to your glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father, for in Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Let's have a special number, please.
know, I, I sat in the back and I was listening to all the testimonies, you know, and interesting to, to hear a lot of people had been through accidents. Um, and they were here to testify. You know, I've always found that the bigger the victory, the bigger the opposition. Right? And sometimes when it feels like all hell is breaking loose, it's an indication that victory is just around the corner. Right? Um... It is no coincidence that we are in the month of supernatural delivery. And because the devil knows what is coming, he will try to intensify the heat. But the more he turns up the heat, it's just an indication that your victory is on its way. You know, I've, I've, a lot of times, sometimes we ask questions like, why is the devil fighting me so much? Why am I going through so much hardship? Why am I going through so much struggle and turmoil? I think it is an indication. It's actually the highest form of flattery because for the devil to fight you, that means you are a threat. If you are not being attacked, you are either in the wrong battle or you are the enemy. You cannot be in a battle and not expect to be attacked. And if you're in a battle and not being attacked, you're either not in the right battle or you are the enemy. Because I will not shoot you if you're on my side. I will not attack you if you're on my side. But if the fight is plenty, that means you're a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And when we talk about supernatural delivery, the intensity of the pain is at the highest point right before the baby comes. So, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from them all. How will they know that you have a God when all they try to do, when they do their worst, but yet you are still standing? How do you explain somebody shot in the face with an automatic rifle, AK-47, in one spot for over an hour, any medical professional will tell you the amount of blood loss and yet, she's standing here before you to testify. There are so many ways that story could have ended. How do you stand to talk without a tongue, have your tongue split, teeth scattered, jaw broken, but yet you are still standing. What do you do? I'm sure the devil himself is confused. Because when he shoots his best arrow, and then he still doesn't work, then what? For if they had known, they would have not crucified the king of glory. We have entered a month of supernatural delivery. Everything the Lord has promised, every purpose, every dream, every vision, everything that he has spoken to you, this is the month that you bring it forth. In the name of Jesus, this is the month where everything he has spoken concerning you comes to pass. Pastor, that's a very audacious statement. Everything? <laughs> Everything that he has spoken. 
Isaiah 66, 7 to 9. Let's look at it very quickly. That's not what I'm preaching on today. Let's just look at it. Put it on the screen, Isaiah 66, 7 to 9. 